you're coming up against a resource crunch here, and I don't think that your expectations and JR's expectations through you are being met. This show is tanking. We brought you on as a key player, and so far we've seen cotton candy bullshit. What possibly could be distracting you? Paula is just, there's nothing but antipathy between us. If, if she weren't here, I would do 100% better work. I know you've got problems to work through with Paula, but Paula's not going anywhere, Ed. Whatever you got to do to turn this show around, do it. Gentlemen, Paula. Yeah. Hey, Matt. Have you uh, cooled off a little since the... Uh, yeah. Okay. I know. Is that under wraps now? We're fine. Look, I'm here for the meeting, okay? I got my ass kicking okay. suit on. Let's do this. Okay. So I, I have some ideas that I want to present quickly. Some more extreme ideas. The first idea is that we're going to promote something where we have tracked down Bob. We say he's been hiding in the shed this whole time. And we burn it down. And we make it seem like someone in the house did it. And we have the first reality television murder mystery show. The other idea, and this is actually my favorite one, is that we launch a chemical warfare attack on the house. Smoke machine cayenne pepper coming from the outside, they have to protect themselves against it. I think Americans want to see what a chemical warfare attack looks like, because it's on people's minds. The third idea, um, screwing up biorhythms, waking people at odd intervals with noisemakers. Um, this could really be done in conjunction with the other two. Uh, hey, Al. Thanks for the email. Yeah, 15 minutes ahead, ahead of uptime, I'm not exactly going to make it on time. Oh. What's going on? I hope it involves FaceTime. He doesn't have like an agenda item? No, I just I got this email. It says meeting, seven o'clock. No, this was that's my that's on my message planner. But you bring it's up just a good my point. computer says. You bring up a good out. point. Right. It's time to address that. So if you've got input on that, then can, you know, um, can we really can we move on to challenge. Chris? Yeah. I think that might be but a good one. But can we I'd just, like just to get minute. some just, just one minute. something physical, get some sweaty, maybe get some Steve. dirty or something. And let's retool your character yeah. a little bit. The character of host that you're okay. playing. Yeah, let's darken you. Ed, can we can we like focus a, like a on warden, the you know, like can we focus on the meeting yes. for just a so second? That, something. Like, Ed, you didn't pay attention like at all terrorism. during the presentation, terrorism. and right, now like and he's talking about going you know, clubbing. Let's just okay. set let's just set up. All right, fine, baby. All right, let's just set up a meeting. What is going on here? Okay. okay. I don't understand well, what's going on here. Just take off, dude. Okay, yeah, thanks. I'm sorry okay. to waste your time. It's okay. It's okay. Minutes. I, I got the club. It's only about 10 minutes away. I should be able to make cool. it, so. You have a good time, dude. Thanks. Hey. Thanks. I'll say hi to JR first. I got to tell yeah. you, too. You're doing a good he job on the show. Need With to the stuff you've been writing, you're doing a good job. Say hi to JR. It reminds him of when the meetings happen. And he's too of a big of a headball to to realize that they always happen at the same time. If you're done meowing, I'd like my book back. Let's go top to bottom on this. Okay, good, um, good. They don't have a connection with Bob, so I don't see any reason why killing him has an impact on them. And that just smacks of fake. And there's no reason for them to leave, because nothing happened to them. Uh, totally Chemical warfare. Too. There's um, one part of this idea that I like. Because it's conflict. You've got information and patriotic. We're not here to to educate the public. This is not an So let me understand show. something. Is this the way Once we're again, going no Ed, is this the way to we're going to do things from now on? I this mean, is not exactly feedback. This is like, oh, this is your idea, but you know what? I don't like it, so let's move on. Look, it's ink on a board. He's going somewhere with this. Let's just see where he's going. There's no pressure for them to react. There's no panic. They'll be coordinated. They're not I'm curious as to what you TV. guys do because you know what? I don't ever remember you guys presenting an idea. All really? Right. Again, there's the kernel of an idea here, but the practicality of this is silly. Noises at random intervals is difficult to accomplish. But I think we need to rephrase the whole context of this show. We need to think of this show as a story. Right. So let's just talk about the story of the house. All right, bear with me because it's a little ideas. bit slow. I sure do. So that's good because I really enjoy. Once they're up on the board, I mean, you know, it's a lot of fun to erase them, as you pointed out before. Good, good. This is becoming so negative that I don't, I don't know why you guys are so calm. Please stop this fighting. Like, he's going somewhere. I don't know where it is, but at least he's going forward. Let's just take a look at it. And then if it sucks, we can kill it. Absolutely. But this gives us cohesion. Yeah. Through our fault or through their machinations, they have resulted in deciding that they are a group. We have an opportunity here to start creating strain. Escalate and escalate and escalate. And at some point, the strain gets too much. 
that's going to be collapsed. We're going to start eliminating people. It's, it's too awful to be there. I'm not telling you guys anything. No, this is what people want to see. I mean, this is what people pay to see. How is that not in keeping with launching a chemical warfare attack against the House? You know, we'll, we'll get to you. So, can we agree that this is what our story is? How could it be anything except that? That's what we've always been aiming for. We, no, we can see those around. moments when people we actually show what they're well, about. I think, the, I think the assumption coming in was that all of that was going to be created by the people in the House. All yeah. you're doing is recapping things from original meetings and putting them in a different format. I'm Let's just, actually get some work done here. I'm getting a little sick of you being basically a material thief. Because that's what you are. It's important for us to conceive of the people in the house as characters, but not people anymore. So let's stop treating them like people. Let's start treating them like characters, and what's best for those characters in the arc of the story of the house. We need a character breakdown okay. for each of these people. Their affinities, what they like is a weakness, because we can take that from them. Oh yeah, okay. Tom and the computer, you know, three pocket his books. Yeah. Human limits, how far can you go? No, you're just talking like, uh, I'm talking the full spectrum of human limitations. Not just, you know, mental, how much I'm willing to take, but how much I can physically take. Sure. House is a weapon. This is critical. Let's turn the house on them. The air they breathe. Okay. I don't know, a miserable time breathing. Remember, you it doesn't have to hurt. Okay. It's Say time I for their stuff to stop being theirs. It's ours. It's the house's stuff. I think we need to turn that stuff into a weapon. We start to ban their needs. If you're starving, eventually you will leave. Or you'll collapse. At which point we carry them out. Because that's in their contract. Yeah. And that's just good TV. <laughs> There's more stuff we can use, not just the house as a weapon, but you know, the stuff around it. Like, uh, we got a lake, right? There you Let's go. Use the lake. We got a, uh, what else we got uh, outside the house that they don't use? They got a hot tub. Has it, has, it got a, has it got a temperature control on that? Of course. Of course it does. Yep. Yeah, sure. Oh, well, let's take it off. Well, that could get that could get dangerous though if it gets too hot. So I just so no, you're right. Hot, you're absolutely right. Yeah. It's their responsibility. I, I know they signed it away, but keep them informed. It's informed consent. Yeah. There's no moral okay. line for us to cross there. And we have Chris, you know, remind them each time. Now you can leave this at any time, you know, and if you do. You're gone. Yeah, as long as you keep that in fresh in mind, they can't say they forget. It's getting to the point where you can get out anytime you want. Anytime you want. In fact, it's getting dangerous. We urge you to go. And they gotta, every time we, every every 10 minutes, every every 15 minutes, I gotta drink a beer. Chug a beer. And get that product placement in there, you know? It's yeah. beauty hydrates. Totally. And they'll be, they'll be passing out. Whoa. They'll be, uh, wow. that would be funny. I would watch that. I would watch 20 minutes of that. All right. And that's what I'm talking about. Very good work. Here you come home. Yeah. Bye, Matt. You okay? Okay. All right. See you tomorrow. I like your ideas. Thanks. Okay. You too, Paula. Me too. Tonight we have for you the hot tub challenge. Cheers. This is gonna be a good challenge. I think they're cooking it. I'm having trouble breathing now. <coughs> is somebody in the water? Yeah. It's gonna get to bubble.
Oh, I want my wife!